Hey everyone, it's me, Spring, the Fiber Enthusiast, and welcome to Wishing on Dandelions intro video. So here we go. We're going to go over three different weights of yarn. And um, yeah, let's talk a little bit about Wishing and Dandelions. So the song that I got the name from uh, is dandelions by ruth b i will also add a link to that song down in the description box of this video just in case you're wondering um what kind of music inspired this um i absolutely love dandelions i utilize dandelions all of them i i absolutely love them i use them to make bread soaps um, different infused oils. You can use it for salad. You can um, do all kinds of things with dandelions. So at any rate, I thought that this particular design was like after the dandelion got to the point where you would blow on it and it would distribute seeds everywhere. <laughs> um, that's what made me actually think of uh, dandelions when I was working on this. Plus, using this soft and sleek mustard colored uh, kind of inspired it as well. And, you know, I love the song Dandelions. So here we are. Um, I did this in three different weights. Let's go ahead and start. I will show each weight individually. This is a Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek. Uh, the colorway is Dijon, and I did it in one full solid color. After I tell you how much of the yarn and what size hook I used, I will insert pictures so that way you can see uh, this shawl in its entirety. So for this one, I used, as I said, Yarn B Soft and Sleek DK Dijon colorway. I used a five millimeter hook from start to finish. Um, I used a total of 852 yards. So <clears throat> each of these uh, donuts that you, re that you get with uh, the soft and sleek is 478 yards each. And I used from two of them, which was 956 yards total, but I had 104 yards left over. So that gave me a total of 852 yards of the soft and sleek, uh, DK. So, uh, a three weight. So if you want to use a mandala three weight that you might have laying around, by all means, um, that is in size of yarn and hook is entirely up to you. I will give you the dimensions as well um, on these shawls individually. Um, the DK is your middle size. The four weight is the very, very large size. And then a fingering weight is the smallest of the three, but it's still not that small. So, <clears throat> excuse me, we are talking about DK. And again, I used 852 yards with a five millimeter hook. And I will add the dimensions to this shawl here. And now I'm going to add pictures of this with better lighting. Y'all forgive me. Our power has been out for, uh, this is now going on the second day and it looks like it won't be available until for restoration until potentially three days out. So Monday, you're watching this intro, more than likely I'm still without power um, and won't have it back until hopefully at least Monday evening. We shall see. Um, but at any rate, we're going to get this done. Absolutely. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the pictures so you can see it a little bit better um, now.
Okay, so here we have the fingering weight uh, yarn. And what I used for it was some Vitalana that I had left over. And let's see if I can see what the colorway was. Chewies. Um, and this was a Superwash Merino Nylon and Cashmere yarn. And I also used some Queensland that I had for the very bottom of it. Um, I probably could have very easily done the whole thing in a solid, but I had one donut left of this Queensland that I really wanted to incorporate with this color. I really, really, really like um, these two colors together. So I added that in. So now I'll go over that particular. This is fingering weight again. I used a four millimeter hook through the entirety of the shawl. Um, the Vitalana was 437 yards and I had two. Um, so 874 yards. I had left over when I stopped using it, I had left over 262 yards. So there's still 262 yards. So I only used, I only used 612 yards of the Vitalana. And then for the Queensland, the donut was 410 yards each. And I have 29 yards left over. So that left me with a total of 381 yards used from the Queensland. Now the Queensland collection is uh, colorway UL-22. And I used a total between the two colors to make the whole shawl. I used 993 yards of fingering weight to make the entire shawl. And again, I used a four millimeter crochet hook and I will insert the dimensions of this one here. I will also add pictures of it so you can see the actual natural color of it because it's so blown out with the light coming in the window. <laughs> But again, this was the fingering weight. Okay, so this is the worsted weight. As you can see, uh, poor Nikki here is just swimming in it. Um, this is where the collar is. You could see on the others, it was much higher and less dramatic. And here is the bottom of it down here. I did use a darker color because I ran out of the mandala ombre and I wasn't going to town because this is the one that I recorded the tutorials on, this particular one. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and get into what I used for this. For this particular four weight, I used a six millimeter crochet hook for my starting chain. Um, and then I dropped down to a 5.5 for the rest of the shawl. Now, uh, I used Mandala Ombre. I picked up three cakes. And those cakes were Cool Freud, the colorway. And let's see. I only had 12 yards left over from three cakes. Now, let's see was uh, 1,032 yards of ombre minus the 12 yards left over, left me with 1,020 yards of the ombre used. Then I used Shulana, and it's a really, really pretty dark, dark brown with uh, silver on it. I, again, I'm terribly sorry about the horrible lighting situation while recording this particular video. Um, let's see. Those have 100 yards each. Each one of these is 100 yards. And I used two and um, I used a little bit off of a third one. So 230 yards was used. 
So a total of 1,250 yards of four weight yarn to make this shawl. Um, same exact pattern used on all three, but again, the hook size, the yarn size all makes a big difference. Again, I will add the dimensions to this one right here. And of course, I will add some pictures afterwards. Now, um, in the pictures of this one, you will see that there are many different ways that you can use this particular shawl. Um, it can, it is very, very, very versatile. Uh, you can use this if you used a hundred percent or at least 80% uh, four weight cotton. You could use this as a summer wrap around. You could do it up here, draped down. You could do it around your waist, draped down over the top. You could do it as a summer cover up. Um, you would just simply take and weave in and out the top or just, you know, at the ends, um, some, just a chain or maybe some lace or something of that nature that you can use as a tie. Now you can use this like it is just wrapped around the shoulders being crescent shape. Uh, like it is, it's going to hang on your shoulders a lot better than just a straight, you know, like a triangle or a uh, rectangular wrap. Um, also with this, you can wear it where it has a button on one side. Let's see here. Turn it to its side so that way... Let's see if Nikki will behave herself here. And put a button on one shoulder and maybe a couple of buttons down the side to give it a little bit of, uh, you know, extra flair, but it can be worn cross body like that. Um, again, there's going to be pictures of this at the end. Let's see if I can get it off of Nikki here. Here we have uh, the back. And let's see. There you can see the colors changing in that ombre. It is very, very large. Um, if I was to put it at armpit and stand up, it still comes past this four way, still comes past my knee. Now I'm 5'2, so I'm not tall, but you know, it does go down past my knee <laughs> with the four weight. So I could have very easily used this for like a summer cover up wrap around. Um, that's again entirely up to you as to what you want to use it for, how you want to use it. I cannot wait for this to start next Monday. I want to see y'all's version of my shawl called Wishing on Dandelions. I want to thank each and every one of you that has watched the video and is going to join in as well. I cannot wait. Uh, I absolutely can't wait. Um, now, to enter, there is no entry, you know, notifications or fees or anything like that. The yarn you're using is out of your own stash or whether you go buy something specifically for it, that's up to you. Um, same thing with your hook. I do not supply any of the tools needed or yarn needed for this crochet along. Um, you do not have to pay for any patterns. Uh, no paying for tutorials. It is completely 100% free and, uh, for you to join in on the crochet along. I hope to see your projects 
Um, please feel free, if you haven't already, join us on the Facebook group if you have Facebook. Um, if you don't, you can tag me in Instagram. Uh, you can also email me a picture, but make sure that I have received the picture because sometimes it does not send pictures through. Uh, there's occasions where that happens. So I may email you back and go, I didn't receive a picture. Let's try something different. Uh, so yeah, make sure that that picture has come through and I'm not ignoring you. It's just, I didn't receive the picture. So, uh, I cannot wait to see y'all's version of this shawl. And thank you for joining in on my crochet alongs. And if you don't, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate each and every one of you and be blessed, be a blessing. And until next time, y'all, bye for now.